Here we are at Eurocycles in Daytona Beach, and today we have the distinct pleasure of taking a test ride on the new BMW 1250. And right here next to me is a beautiful blue, and I mean gorgeous blue, uh, 1250. I'll take give you a little walk around this. This bike is absolutely beautiful. That is some pretty blue. And uh, I'm really liking the looks of that. That is really beautiful. Feast your eyes on that sweet hat, huh? And I think uh, it's a lot like the 750 and 850 that I reviewed as far as a lot of the uh, equipment that's on it. Of course, you have the beautiful shaft drive. Every <laughs> If you ever know a bike with a shaft drive, you got to get one of these. But um, the display, which we'll show you a little bit later when we get started up, the display is spectacular, and here is the setup. It's all set up if you want to buy the uh, BMW uh, GPS system, and uh, this is all ready to go. But that blue paint on this bike is absolutely killer gorgeous. I mean, absolutely beautiful. From the back, from the back, and you notice that Eurocycles, by the way, for those of you not familiar with it, they're in Tampa, Orlando, and here in Daytona Beach. And uh, see what we got here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, beautiful day to ride a beautiful bike. This is a 2019 BMW. 1250 GS and I want to tell you this is really nice very smooth very easy to drive and uh, Absolutely gorgeous bike, beautiful seat. I've got it in uh, dynamic mode and it, it rides very nice. Very comfortable. Put the windshield, windscreen down. Just a really nice bike. I mean, we're riding along here beautifully. There's the Red Ember Cycles over there. I've never heard of them. So, and if you can see the dash from my camera, the dash is beautiful. The sun's kind of behind me off to my left side. And normally, uh, in a lot of dashes, it would wash out the reading on the dash, but not with this new, I think it's called FTF display, or TFT, I forget which way it goes. But anyway, it's like a flat screen TV kind of thing where the colors don't wash out with the sun and things like that. It just, it's revolutionary in the motorcycle industry, I think. I think you'll see them on all the bikes eventually. Now this is really nice. Very smooth, very light, very comfortable. I just touch the left arm a little bit, just lightly. Takes me right around the corner. Almost makes me look like a halfway decent motorcycle rider. How about that? <laughs> I'll tell you, it is very, very smooth. And, uh,. When I touch the brake, it goes into engine, it's kind of weird, it goes into engine braking and uh, it slows you down. It's pretty cool. In other words, uh, if I'm just going along and I take my foot up on my hand off the gas, it, it rolls, it, it slows down a little bit, but when you put your brake on, it automatically calls in engine braking so that your bike um, slows down a little better too. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So we got a lot, a lot of stuff working for us here, and a great bike, and uh, a pleasure to ride. I want to tell you. And I, it, the other thing is, you you have to keep an eye on your speedometer because normally you uh, normally you would think that you're going about 30 miles an hour. And you look down, you're going 45 think you're going 40 miles an hour, you're going 55. I mean, it, this bike just cruises along effortlessly, 
at a good rate of speed. Pretty impressive. And it's beautiful out here. It's uh, terrible. It's 79 degrees here in the early days of January 2019. And we're in Daytona Beach. There's the ocean, the water, the inlet, the hotels, the oceans on the other side there where those big hotels are over there. The, so, you know, it's really, uh, it's really nice, so, really, yeah, uh, it's a beautiful bike, it's so well balanced, the seats are comfortable, the noise of the engine, or the exhaust is just loud enough so you can hear it, and you can, I like to be able to hear the exhaust, I just don't want to lose my hearing over it, you know, now this just rides so beautifully, and I could ride all day on one. In fact, if I put it on cruise control, I think I could ride all day, no hands. <laughs> because I'm just going to rest my hands on the uh, handlebars. I'm pushing both hands forward lightly. And now watch this. How am, I, how am I making that the bike move? Just a slight shift of your own body weight. And you can drive this bike. Oh, I didn't see that bump, though. <laughs> You can drive this bike um, simply by shifting your weight. And that's all you have to do, shift your ass, and it works. It really works. All right, um, I probably should think about turning around somewhere here, and, uh, oh, I know, I'll go right up here. We'll go right up here and turn around. Turns nice, very simple, easy to do. I'll give a stop here and give you a little walk around and see if the bike's still, still working. And uh, I have to remember the, the stand, the side stand is uh, in a different place than I'm used to it. Okay, so what do we got? We got street tires with some bite to them. So the street tires here have good, but you could take this off-road. You're not going to deep sand, but you could take it off-road. The big box of twin with the twin cams that adjust depending on your speed. I can't tell the difference when it goes from one speed to another. I love this blue color, absolutely gorgeous. Um, spiked, or I should say uh, spoked wheels. Boy, they look nice, don't they? Beautiful spoke wheels. Brakes on it are fantastic. All ready for luggage. All ready for the uh, BMW navigation system. It's all set up. All you have to do is buy the unit. And a uh, simple on-off switch here. I have the key in, my, key in my pocket. How's that? So take a nice look at a beautiful bike. And, you know, it's interesting. Most of it is um, single swing on, obviously. Um, most of this bike, uh, the suspension, if you look, I don't see any really suspension adjustments. There might be something under here. I'm not sure. But I don't see any real suspension adjustments that I could do because it's all done electronically. You can set it for... A single rider, two riders, a single rider with luggage, um, and you can set all kinds of driving modes. The mode switch is right here. You can change all the different modes. Pretty nice. When you turn on the uh, display, watch this. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Mirrors are very good. Windscreen rolls up and down. There's a little knob. You can roll it up and down the way you want it. And uh, make it any way you want, you know, any height you want. Pretty nice. But I love this display. But the other thing is the riding comfort on the bike and the fact that you can... Uh, You can adjust uh, your riding. You can, when you get on the bike, it's kind of crazy. It's so well balanced. You can, it's one of these bikes you get on it and you say, you know, I could go on a thousand mile trip 
on this thing easy. This is the most comfortable my butt has felt on a bike in a long time. And like the 750 and the 850 that we reviewed before, this, well, let me say this part. The 750 is easy to ride. It's a lighter, smaller bike, less horsepower. 77, I think it has, and this has 136. Uh, it has, um, it's just very easy to drive. I, I actually thought it was kind of like, it could be a beginner's bike or even intermediate. Fine. But you know something? You get on this bike, it's really not that much difference. I don't find anything really that different. It, it handles beautifully. It handles like a, a 750. What the heck? It handles beautifully. I mean, you know, what? I, I can't believe it. It just, it just has this beautiful uh, way about it that makes it so easy to ride along and enjoy your ride immensely. Plenty of sack. It's a rock and roll with just a twitch of a throttle if you want, if you so desire. Or you could just cruise along nicely. It's kind of like a bike that has many modes and many personalities, depending on how you set the ride mode, depending on how you crank the throttle, depending on how you, when you shift the shifter. So you have a, you can bring out many different uh, personalities of the bike just by, uh, just by the touch of the throttle. It's pretty cool. Very nice, comfortable but damn seats. I can't get over the doggone seats. They seem to get everything right. It's not like, you know, it's not like the... It's, it's not like um, they have to work hard at a lot of stuff, but they get so many things right. I can't think, I can't find anything wrong with the bike. I re I'm, and I'm really, you know, usually when you when you experience the bike, there's some, there's a lot of things you like, but there's a few things you don't like. And I can't find anything wrong with this bike. It's. Uh, it's really nice. It just rides really nice, and uh, it's just a pleasure to ride. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Oh, 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 wait. So, if you've, rode a seven, if you've driven a 750 and you say, I like that, but boy, I'd really like to move up to that 1250, but I think it's too much bike. No, it's not. It's not too much bike. It, it's just as easy to ride as the 750 or the 850, I think. I've ridden both, and uh, that's what I think. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful to ride. Very impressive. And uh, there's that engine braking you get when you hit the brake. And it really works nice. So. Reviews up. Somebody's going through there in a little boat. A beautiful day here in Florida, Central Florida, at Euro Motorcycles here in Daytona Beach. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness gracious me. How tough is this? All right. That's going to end my day, I think. On bike, um, my new favorite bike ever. <laughs> my new favorite bike ever. To kind of wrap things up, we had a great day at Eurocycles, Daytona Beach, Florida. Thanks so much for all the folks, Rob and every the whole gang down there at uh, Eurocycles for allowing me to test drive their 2019 BMW R1250 GS. And uh, in all honesty, my own opinion, um, it's the best bike that I've ever ridden, period. It's absolutely phenomenal. 
it's interesting that having ridden the 750, then the 850, and now the 1250, um, as I said on the video, if you can ride a 750, you can ride a 1250. It, it's, the transition is no big deal. A lot of the same optional equipment comes on the, is option available on the, uh, on the 750 and 850, and is also on the 1250. Um, base price on the, on the um, 1250 GS is around, uh, let me see, I got it over, 17, about 17.7, 17,700. The premium package, which I would suggest you get, but you don't have to, um, brings it up around 20, 21, something like that. And um, I must honestly say, I think it's worth every nickel. <laughs> it's a beautiful bike. So if you get a chance, go down to your local BMW dealer, or if you're in the Daytona area, go see the good folks at uh, Eurocycles and drive one. You won't believe uh, how phenomenal uh, the bike is. So thanks so much to everybody. Now, um, if you like the video, hit the like button. That really helps. What really helps is if you hit the subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, and uh, that'll help a lot. If you hit that little bell, it's down there on the bottom. If you hit that little bell, uh, anytime I put new videos out, it'll just send you a little email letting you know there's a new video out, and I've got a couple of more, three or four more in the pipeline we're working on right now. So stay tuned, and thanks so much for watching.